Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits uh, video. Today I've been down to um, Sadler's Brewery to do a brewery tour. So we'll discuss that and also I picked up some beers so I'll discuss that as well. So yeah I went down to Star Bridge today. Uh, about a 1 hour 40 minute drive. Thankfully uh, my mate was driving, not me. And uh, So you get there, there's a few people waiting outside. Uh, you walk into the building, um, there's like a little meeting area at the bottom, but then you actually walk up the stairs, you walk up the stairs, like a bar area. The bloke ticked our names off the list and um, waited a few minutes, gave us two beer tokens, so we had a pint to start things off, you know, why not, eh? You know, um, let's talk about the bar. Lovely, uh, no, actually, let's talk about the tour first because the bar, and you know, is afterwards. So, anyway. Went downstairs, did the start of the tour. Um, the person doing the tour was really enthusiastic about beer. I mean, if you're a brewer, you're going to be enthusiastic. And he explained about the malts. Um, I didn't, I didn't know that like it's a barley or whatever that it comes in. The different types of malts. Or well, basically, all they are is they toast it, but they toast it to varying degrees, and that creates different flavours. And uh, it's wacky, you know. And, uh, and it was on about hops, and uh, funnily enough, I've got some hops here. There you go, look like flowers. Yeah, and that's the hops. That's that was. <sighs> That was Golding's hops, and on the smellier side, I've got some Citra hops. So you've heard of Citra uh, in lots of craft beers these days. Wow, yeah, a lot stronger smell. And on about English hops, are more subtle, whereas American hops tend to be more vibrant, more stronger, you know, flavour and taste. Uh, then they showed us their discussed about how the beer goes in. Obviously I'm a home brewer so I know a lot of on a small, much smaller scale and it was saying something like you either put a ton of malt of this malt um, malt, yeah, malt barley whatever into the brew and um, to make a, that's about 5,000 pints you know, just bloody massive things they are and that goes into the mash ton then it goes from the mash ton into the next vessel which starts the brewing process and it's it really really is interesting um, and it describes that from they go from that one thing to another to the boiler then they go into the fermentation vessels and uh, in that same room they showed a smaller 500 pint barrel fermentation vessel that they use for, that they're now starting to use for smaller brews. He described the difference between casks, ca casks and kegs. And uh, then took us into the bigger area where the commercial the massive commercial um, fermentation vessels and that, you know, on a massive scale were done and they answered the questions and uh, you know did a lot of discussions and overall yeah a great tour very interesting if you like brewing and you want to know more very interesting and that was about 45 minutes to an hour from there we went back upstairs and uh, then you could use your beer tokens I'd already used the beer tokens so before and so the shop they haven't got a brewery shop at the moment so I remember a load of money expecting to buy a load of beers Sadly, no. Uh, the brewery shop won't open, but they've got beers in the bar that they, they sell in gift packs. Like so. These gift packs are free for a tenner. So a little bit steeply priced, but for presents, brilliant, you know. They sell beer, gin, whiskies in gift packs. Um, on the bar, massive, got a great selection of beers and uh, lagers, ciders on the bar. And you can use your tokens to get what you want. You can get halves. You say you can get four halves if you want to really you know, spread it out. And then afterwards you can actually go and buy what you like as well. Um, we had a ploughman's lunch. Lovely meat, cheese, 
bit of pickle, bread, lovely. Um, that went down a treat. Um, so, as part of the haul, I picked up some bears. I get the chuffing lid off. That's it. Yeah, picked up some bears off this haul. And I've had this before, but I can't remember it. Boris Citroff, which is a marmalade ale. So, looking forward to reviewing that. Next on the list, Mellow Yellow. Pale Honey Hail. So again, I can't remember adding it. Don't think I've, I've not reviewed it. And one I've definitely not heard of, Hopper's Hut Session IPA. So yeah, very good. These were available in the bar, so if you was to go and the shop is not open, you know, the bar area is a bit pricier. But, you know, there's a good selection of beers on the bar. Um, I'll show you the other three. So I bought, these were three for £10. I bought two lots. You know what I'm like. I like to um, get rid of new review stocking. So, and there we are. Saddlers Black Country Scrumper. I had the one, I had the um, strawberry and rhubarb version of this on the bar. Very nice. Handcrafted medium cider, 4.8%. A beer I've never heard of from um, Sadler's, Drop Forge Premium Lager, 5.3%. Again, not total newbie to me. And again, another one I've not seen before, Peaky Blinder Stout. I know their chocolate and vanilla stout, which is Mud City, which is immensely good. But yes, good one. So, for me, a great exp. Oh, that's not that's not all. I did buy something else. One second. Right. Let's wrap that up. So on the bar, you can also purchase for in takeaway packs two pints of whatever beer, lager, whatever there. And this is what it's in. It's. This is their Samkova Stash. It's their uh, seasonal beer for this month. And I've got two pints of it in here. I've already had a pint today and it was oh, immense. So a review will be coming later. Yes. So overall, you know, obviously it depends where you live in the country. It's a, it's a travel, you know, you're gonna be traveling. Um, if you're living near Birmingham, you know, you're laughing really, aren't you? It's close on your doorstep. Very informative. Very passionate brewer, really knows his stuff, really likes his beer, obviously, you know, and likes the brewing process and that. And a very nice bar and brewer house upstairs, lovely, really clean, good quality food. They also do, um, they must have a music on there, they've got a Christmas barbecue coming up. And uh, I've got to say, bang on, Ex excellent. Uh, so, a fantastic day. Um, the, only, the, only, the only thing I would have liked would have been for the brewery shop to be open so I could purchase as many beers as I wanted, you know. Um, if I was going to say anything to Sadler's to how to improve it, these pint, two pint things are great, but you might, if you sold them in a pint, you will make more money. Because if I'd have had a pint, if I could get a pint of each one of them beers, I would have took a pint, or even half pints. Selling that in half pints, it's more money, it's it's, it's the no-brainer. Your seasonal ales, have them there, all that stuff on the bar that's not that that you can't have already, you already got in bottles. Um half pint and pint versions of that for takeaway, you know, for reviewers like me and for people who want, you know, to take them away is an excellent idea. You know, the two pints are okay, but eight quid. You know, it's not a uh, an immediate purchase. You know, it's not a thing where you say, "Yeah, I'll have one." Of that, you know, but if I could have got one of 
every one of the beers, I would have took the lot. Yeah, yeah, you've got to drink them that day or the next day, but that's not for you to worry about, that's for me to worry about, and I would have drank them anyway, because I'm a, hey, hey. So out of five then, I'm gonna give it a 4.65 out of five. I thought that was a great, a great day, you know, and uh, very informative. And uh, thanks for saddling us, that was awesome. Right, cheers, see you soon.